So, uh, I want to mention before we start this game, there is no music. It is all atmospheric sounds. So, um, let me make sure I'm ready. Inject the Pepsi directly into my veins. All right. Time starts in three, two, one, go. So, Marathon 2 has a bit more time to explain because it has an hour estimate. So, Water Water Park is a repair level, so we're going to get two chips on the way to the first one right now, and we're going to put it in the slots. There's a bob. Come on. There we go. Uh, the IL is pretty insane for this level. You can get this under 36. It usually takes 41 seconds on average, so. Okay, so Slings and Arrows and uh, Radius Fortune is just a run to the end level. Nothing too special except I need to make sure I can get through here. There we go. Come on. And you can teleport even in, in terminals in Marathon 2 and Infinity, so that's a plus. Don't have to worry about that. Alright, so we're going to come over here, we're going to activate a trigger, which will open the wall that we need to head to, and we're going to come this way. Next level is going to be the first big hurdle in the run because it's an extermination level and it has a good amount of RNG into it. Right, so we're going to go get the assault rifle, which is different from this game as is every one. Okay. We're going to take a safe strat in this level because the jump that I would normally do and this level is a bit too risky because you don't get a save until after that jump. So we're just going to do it and not get to that area too. I have to save for my first speed run. Okay, so we're just going to go this way. It's, it's a whole lot safer. Uh, the other one would involve you jumping from that ledge right there with a grenade to the face. And it's uh, not fun if you mess it up. Oh, I think I forgot. I didn't do the jump that I just mentioned. I didn't do. Jump over here. Marathon two, you have to do grenade jumps backwards instead of forwards. Well, you, you can go forward to start it, but you have to do it mainly backwards. <laughs> Uh, extruder. Fun fact, we don't have to do Acme Station in any percent from the Atomic Trinity. You will see why enough. Besides, Acme Station isn't that bad. Confound deli delivery is a lot harder. I do plan on doing it in 10% for Infinity at some point. Let's hope to God we got this. So, we're gonna save to be safe. So, if we see a terminal that says Boomer, we got it. If not, I'll have to go back and reload and save. <sighs> okay, that's worrisome. That is worrisome. Have to go back and reload safe. In 
unfortunately. I'm an idiot. It sometimes happens. station was never tested on uh, total carnage as far as I know I just realized I just screwed myself up. Uh, maybe I don't if I screwed myself again then oh boy that's why I have an hour estimate Specifically, this level is the reason I have an hour estimate. reload levels, the enemy layout up to that point is the same, but anything after that is different. Okay. We're gonna have to do another load. Haha. <laughs> I swear after this, it's just gonna be less annoying. This is the most annoying level in the entire game, like, by far. Banging for mercy? No, no, not hard. This is the most annoying level. Because you can mess this up easily. So what we're going to do, instead of going right this time, we're going to take a left. Taking this left lets us show these guys. That should give us enough. If it doesn't, then we'll Yes, that's enough. Okay, now we're on come and take your medicine. Are you kidding me? That here. Okay. Also, there might be the possibility of my mouse. Stop working. I notice. This is gonna have a lot of Bob deaths. Like a shit ton of Bob deaths. Stay up with. Okay, so this level is a bit bad because I have to uh, worry about bobs firing at me. Yes, that was a naked bob. Don't worry. Twitch heads, I'm gonna catch that. You know. So we're on H X Cathedra. Okay. All right, that. I'm gonna hit this switch. That might have fucked me. Note to self, invest in pork stock. 
I had a feeling Marathon 2 or Infinity was going to have the most problems. I had a feeling 2 was going to be the most... And you know what? I was not wrong. I was not wrong. 2 has the most problems in it, despite it being an easier game. Most of those problems are um, overcomable. The problem I made on that level was I... For one, I didn't save. I used to save there, so... Um, because that used to be the first intentional death level, but since the level after X Cathedral is now the level that you do that on, this is, this is going to be a 55, I can already tell. I'm trying my best at the moment to work this up 40 for this level. Hit, take a hit. Going to take a hit. Yep, take a hit. Alright, let's save this time. Whole, like, literally. So, the switch has the same problem that Marathon has. If you hit that switch accidentally twice, you've effectively messed it up. Alright, so we're gonna pick up a chip. Here. We're gonna come over here. We're gonna put the chip in. Oh, come on, one more. There we go. You can put the chip in before it's fully open. It's not too much of a time save. Okay, so we're gonna head over here. Hope to God that none of those shoot at me. Or if they shoot a grenade, they miss. Okay. Also, if you want to run this game on Windows 95, they did release a port for this. For Windows 95, okay, there's the first death. Uh, there are some differences in level. Sick jump. It is the only uh, marathon game released for consoles or PCs. Uh, this is also on Xbox Live Arcade for the 360. It's a good fifteen dollar pickup if you want to learn. Uh, the ability has the world record for that run, which I think is a thirty-five something. To be safe, I'm going to come in here and I'm going to fill up at least times one. Maybe a little smidge of times two. And this has the hardest jump in the game. We'll see, in just one second. You might think there are other jumps that are hard. No, this is the hardest. I miss this, it's gonna be a bit of a wall. Need to waste three grenades. Okay. Alright, we made it. Alright, this is Citadel. We're at the Citadel of Antiquity. Hey, we made it. Okay, so that was a secret. We picked up a rocket launcher and a flamethrower early. And we're going to use that, uh, the flamethrower on a later level and the rocket launcher in about three. But let me explain how this level So there's a switch that we have to hit with this level in order to activate the objective success. We're going to have to do a bit of going through to get to it. But we get to take a nice lava bath. You like lava? 
You know, Magma is one of my favorite bands. Kind of relevant, you know. There we go. Maybe hit that switch. This part's going to go a whole lot better than what about Bob. I hate what about Bob. I wish I didn't have to run that level. Someone has a 147 on that. I don't understand how they have a 147. You can go on, uh, I think it is 147. You can go on loan.org to look at um, IL stats. For this game. And the other two games in Marathon Trilogy. Come on. Switch is behind there. That's the only switch we can activate behind a wall. We don't have to go into the room that it opened, but we have to at least activate it. All right. Okay. Going upstairs like that is pretty hard. I'm gonna guess my time now. It's going to be a 48. Between 48 and 51 minutes. How many Bobs have I killed, by the way? Okay, so we're gonna go from here, come up here. This is Bob count. I'll be surprised if someone's actually keeping track. A lot, actually. You're not wrong. Okay, so we touched the polygon there, um, that is the expiration trigger, so we can complete the level then. This level, it has the uh, expiration triggers right here, and there's one in another area. we got to beat a cycle so we can get up there, though. I forgot to mention, on Marathon 1, the, um, defend this level had a... Uh, two, platforms. two sets of platforms on triggers, not triggers, on, on the same cycle. What if Cortana was Lila? Well, I mean, Lila went rampant in the series. It's mentioned in this game that Lila went rampant after she was reactivated on Trexus. Five shut down the whole, uh, I think, seventeen network plant, uh, seventeen planet network. Okay, so we're getting to pretty interesting. But yeah, the the concept of rampancy in Bungie series started in this. Durandal is theorized to be the only AI to achieve meta stability. Alright, I need to get this. We're going to do The nice, the nice thing is we got spawn back up here. So it's good. We gotta get up there, and we got a pretty nasty jump. We gotta do to do that. Oh, we almost made it. Almost made it. This is a pretty hard jump. Okay. We're just gonna try again. Not as hard as curious and curious though. Well, 
Well, I mean, with Marathon Infinity, I'm just gonna talk about what Tuna Spirit just said. Technically, Halo could exist in the Marathon universe because, you know, the whole alternate realities thing in the third game. I think I got it this time. Yeah, I did. Okay. So we're gonna head into the next chapter, which is called Durandal. Into... If I had a rocket launcher, I'd make somebody pay. Okay, I'm gonna hit a button and see how much I got for weapons. I don't have any air clips, so I gotta really take this carefully. Meaning, if I die, I'm gonna have to reload. Okay. Oh, I do have it. That's good. Disney Infinity. You could have a rocket launcher and make somebody pay. Let's not overshoot this today. I overshot that in practice. Okay, so we gotta wait here. This is a good time to, if you have sweaty palms, you know. Well, you know, you could do a bit of target practice. Sweaty palms, you can wipe them off. Okay. Four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. Hop over. Now, this is a repeat of For Your Eyes Only from Marathon 1, if you notice. However, we're going to take a different path. This is the ship that Durandal took in the first game that we're currently in. One of my practice runs, I ran out of AR right now. So this one's is always going to be the one to the left. I'm sorry if I got quiet. I just need to focus on these levels because these are some really, really hard levels. The next level is probably the run decider. It's more often. Also, did you see that one? There's a uh, AR clip that was underground. Okay, so begging for mercy, we have eight switches that we have to activate in the eight rooms, and then eight circuits that we have to break. This is the first one. After the fourth one, the times three shields uh, thing stops working, so you have to be really careful. Come on. In the second room, it's always going to be the first one. There's our first of two saves that we can do. I've really lowered the time in this level considerably. So that's good. Okay, so we're gonna hover over here. That switch. We're gonna take out the good old rocket launcher again. Come on, is it enough? Yeah, it's enough. There's a lot of these rocket jumps I have to take in faith because of uh, how wild they are. Okay, I need to find the opening terminal. There we go. So this level, effectively in the plot line, you're having to destroy Durandal's AI cores. This leads to the security officer, or security cyborg's capture. So we're going to hit the switch, and watch this neat trick. We're going to hit crouch, we're going to hover, hit the thing. If you did that with a non-mechanical keyboard, you would have a very bad time. Okay, so it's over here. Yep. 
So times three shields don't work anymore, so we have to go for times two. But we don't need times two right now. Red is one, yellow is two, purple is three. This game is 21 years old. I can literally get the plot away to it. Of the rocket launcher out because that big weenie there, we don't want him. He has a huge blast radius and he will fuck us if he explodes and I'm here. Like instant death. Even on kindergarten, which is the 80% uh, difficulty. Alright, now we're heading on to room number 7. There's one more save, and I'm going to have to take advantage of it because I have to swim for this one. Okay, we got it. Durandal's like the greatest anti-hero in video game history. Oh, went the wrong way for a second. 2549, from what I'm seeing on the Twitch stream on my right left monitor, it's not a bad time. If anything, I'm gonna get around the time with my first thing, so we now we got. Alright. Now we wait. Oh, they spawned. Okay. That's good. Come on, push them back here. We have to actually wait for this one. This is Blake. That is... I forgot his name. I forgot his full name. I know his... I know his... His actual name is Blake, but... Okay, so we're going to take the left half first. Yeah, this takes forever on total damage. Just imagine a Vidmaster speedrun. Ah, To put it into perspective, a total carnage run on Marathon 1 is five hours. God fucking damn it. That's one of those that's never happened before moments. Ready for alarms again. that a bit better. If anything, this level is a whole lot better than God Will Sort the Dead, which is the next one. Which is an extermination with simulacrum exploding mobs that are in your face. Or what's left of your face at that point. There we go. That's what missing. Okay, so here's a fun technique rubber banding. I 
Also, shoutouts to artist Craig Mullins for the wonderful chapter screens. He did both Infinity and Durandal. I'm gonna layer them out here. Gonna save again because it's kind of embarrassing having to do that again. I'm still guaranteed at this point to be underestimate. Alright, so we have to make sure we get through these before the SFIP compilers spawn, and we did. Alright. So now we're going to do one more save, and then we're going to start the next fun extermination level. Alright, so which Bob is the exploding? Find out tonight. Alright, so that means we're going to start with this room first. So there are four sets of rooms that you have to go in. Sorry, Mom. <laughs> okay. This one has to save. I'm gonna actually have to die here. Because you know, crash. This shouldn't crash. Marathon 2 doesn't crash as much. Okay, yeah, this one. We're gonna take the left path first. Expect him. I'm glad I shot. <laughs> okay, so we're taking the right path now. This one's exploding. Seven onto that Bob count at that point. All right, and last room. This level. It's Bob Heaven. If you like killing Bobs. It's really hard to do this with a mouse sometimes. Okay, so we're gonna leave now. There are uh, exactly eight bobs over there. Alright. This is my own private Thermopylae. Alright, and audio cue. here. Now, the fun thing about Marathon, this is still a 2.5D game. The, or the series in general. This is still a 2.5D game, yet you can actually have floors on top of floors. As was seen there. Um, if we have time at the end of Infinity, I want to show off the, uh, that mechanic in the game. Yeah. 
So we're gonna have to activate some cores. Yeah, this 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 AI that we're activating is 64 bit. Core two duo. Five D space. Spawn in those shotgun shells. It's the worst deathmatch map, but it's a good it's a good tick demo map. Okay. So we're getting move it Bob. We could technically get an assault rifle here, make it a bit easier, but I'm gonna keep the path. save because kill your television does not have a uh, efficient save. Okay. You have four different places you can spawn on this map. And we got the best one. Also this map has a jump that Blue Glass found out, so shout outs to Blue Glass on this. Which takes a bit sometimes to activate. Hey, we got it. He he, he does uh, speedrun stuff for Marathon too. I don't know if he did Infinity or not. You, like you, if you watch um, Summer Games 2013, I think he mentions Marathon during the Doom. Yeah, during the Doom run. It's like if you want to play a FPS game with story, play Marathon. I've watched too many GDQ stuff. Alright, so this is the jump. We're going to save about 20... 20 seconds on this, and it's kind of hilarious. Okay, here we go. <laughs> you fucking kidding me. Where did I take damage on? Where did I take damage? I would have I would have raged so hard on that if it wasn't for the fact that I couldn't comprehend what just happened. I think I know where I took damage. Also, let's hope this gets accepted to GDQ at some point. I think this would be a fun series of games to run. Yeah, I think I'm going to get pretty close to estimate on this run. Not surprising. This is one of those everything has gone wrong runs right now. Considering I'm about to pass uh, where the current world record is right now, which is 41.50, I think. I can't even remember my own time.
Now, if for some reason I don't make this again, we're going to take a safer strat. I should just take the safer strat now, but eh. Oh yeah, if you hit control twice, it opens doors. Okay, I have full health. Ah, we didn't make it. So yeah, we gotta take a safer strat. Shell. That's the only time in like the last couple of months that I've missed that. This is a pretty mediocre run, to be honest. It's all I'm exciting when nothing goes wrong, but yeah. Also, if you die as soon as you teleport, you, you spawn in the next level dead. That's a fun little tidbit. So we're gonna go come over here, we're gonna pick up a invincibility. Wonderful death sound. I could hit that switch, but you know. So there's a neat thing coming up with this next uh, switch. Let me show you the neat thing. It's gonna charge my health up while we're waiting. We can uh, cancel out the wait by deactivating the switch and reactivating it. Shells. We'll do that as a safe strat. Makes it a whole lot better. Okay, if you want lizards on the wall, just you know. Okay, this is 13 for that buddy boy. I forgot that's the thing that they actually say. Like the regular bombs. Alright, so... I've noticed I've calmed down a whole lot. I'm not as nervous as I was in the first run. Which is... <laughs> that's a record. Most bobs clocking up one doorway. Okay, we're gonna save here. We're gonna go shopping. That's right, we're gonna go shopping in game. What are we gonna be shopping for? Things we need for the end of the run. So we're gonna come in here. And we're gonna do some careful swimming right here. We need to make sure we pick up some rockets because I've kept forgetting to get those in the last couple of practices. You got a lot of stuff you gotta go for in here. Also, that wonderful noise used to be the um, level 
up sound cast us into darkness in an earlier Bungie game. Okay. Let's see if we can get the switch. Better. If you're lucky, you can hit that switch about halfway down that platform. Or that walkway. Alright, coming up here, I'm going to open a door and I'm going to step back from this polygon. If you shoot something in that polygon, it'll spawn more enemies and we don't want that. We're getting near the end of the game, by the way. We got like, at most like, f five more levels. I'm right, it shouldn't crash on me. Okay, I need to be careful. You can actually fly out that window. Run over if that happens. Shoutouts to Bungie for uh, bad level design. And shoutouts to Doug Zartman for the wonderful, wonderful voice of Bob. Okay, we're on Requiem for a Cyborg. That was another level that could have cra it, we could have soft locked on. Um, this is a bit of a time save compared to Xbox 360 run. I'm really, I'm really waiting for Jason Jones to release the uh, Marathon 1 source code because we really need the Marathon 1 source code for better support for the first game. Because as is, it's not SDA applicable. And I really do want to submit a M1 run to SDA at some point. TV, you don't really need to worry about SDA for the most part. I know. But, okay, so that was a pretty tricky jump right there. Alright, third to last level. With a name that I cannot pronounce to save my life correctly. Um, we're going to switch to the flamethrower. A lot of simulacrum bobs to kill. Shoutouts to bad mouse support for the Mac Marathon. Atrocious mouse support. This, I hate this section. I hate this section. All these bobs looked up. Okay, we got that one pretty good though. There we go. And by not going over there, we prevent three simulacrum bobs from spawning. Alright, I'm going to come back over here and... Oh. Come back over here and save. Because there, uh, there's no safe spot in the next level. This, this is the try again for the run. Okay, second to last level. I can I can actually do this right now. Okay, so we rocket jump up here to hit a switch that will open up a wall that will let us get to the end of the level. Need to 
spawn. I need some help to spawn, please, while they're taking those out. Can't destroy, can't hit any of this fifth We got past the uh, big bad cyborg. Alright, we're on the last level. All roads lead to Sol. We're going to be taking the way to the secret terminal to finish this up. There's one time save that I want to try to work on. Just fire that ahead of time. Make this it'll save a considerable amount of time. Okay, I didn't. That's fine. You could shoot a rocket and land on this platform if you were lucky. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. Alright. switches here. I'm gonna mention to the restreamer as soon as I spawn into the very last room which is full of lava I would start getting ready on time but I'll let you know when. This is the finale. If you ran this game without a keyboard that has page down you cannot beat this on any percent. So no, no running this on your MacBook. All right, get ready on time. Time. Fifty-two oh two. That's not bad. It's really not bad. Uh, yes, MacBooks don't have page down keys. Okay. So I'm gonna switch to Infinity. 